Our most popular plaster, Limestrong Stone creates a semi-smooth finish with minimal texture. Stone can be hand troweled for a smooth or matte finish. Movement and modeling are more pronounced with increased burnishing and darker colors. Limestrong Stone has a calm, contemporary feel that makes it suited for any space. For application over primed, finished drywall, Limestrong Stone will be used for both coats. Mixing Tools For Limestrong Stone, you'll need clean buckets, a 5-gallon paint strainer, a 1200 RPM variable speed mixing drill, an egg beater style mixing paddle, eye protection, a bucket scraper, pigment, limestrong stone plaster. One bag of limestrong stone requires nine liters or just over two gallons of water. It's best to start with a bit less water and add more at the end for mixing to adjust for consistency. Always add the pigment to the mixed water before adding any plaster. In this video, we are using the color Lurin from our Limestrong Designer palette. Mix the pigment vigorously in the water for one minute. To avoid pigment bursting, we recommend straining the pigment through a paint strainer. This will catch any small lumps of pigment that may not dissolve in the water. Pigment bursting is tiny clumps of unmixed pigment that can cause dark streaks of color in the plaster finish. Pigment will settle quickly to the bottom of the bucket. Make sure you mix well before straining. Add about one third of the plaster at a time. Scrape any dry plaster off of the sides into the mix. Keep adding plaster until the bag is empty. If needed, add small amounts of water as you go to get the right consistency. Clean any unmixed plaster from the side of the bucket. Once all of the plaster has been added and you have the desired consistency, mix at high speed for three full minutes to ensure a smooth mix. Tools needed for application are masking tape and a drop cloth to protect the floor, a plasterer's hawk, a semi-flexible stainless steel trowel, flexible knife, outside corner tool, spray bottle, rags. Stone application first coat. The Limestrong stone first coat should be applied over level four finished drywall and primed with our dimension grit added to standard drywall primer. The grit gives the primer micro texture and creates an ideal surface to receive plaster. To ensure perfect edge details, it is recommended to remask between coats. Rather than have to redo your entire masking job, use a strip of one inch tape at the plaster interface. This edge tape will be removed and replaced between coats. Using a semi-flexible stainless steel trowel, apply a thin coat of limestrong stone, just thick enough to cover the biggest sand grains in the mixture. Try to apply evenly and avoid leaving excess trowel marks. The base coat should be applied continuously and a wet edge should be maintained.
90 degree outside corner tool can help to create crisp corners. Apply the plaster liberally to the corner and then run the corner tool down. Take care to clean up any lines or ridges left by the tool. Once the plaster has been applied, allow the wall to dry about halfway. Come back with a clean trowel and knock down any high spots or ridges. These areas, if left proud, will telegraph through the finish and show as darker in color. If you are looking for more modeling and color variation, this first coat can be left as is without the final smoothing step. Remove the edge masking tape before the plaster is dry. Allow the first coat to dry completely, typically overnight. Remask the edge. If needed, a light touch with fine sandpaper can be used to clean up corners in detail. The Limestrong stone application is done using a wet-on-wet -wet application technique. One coat of plaster is applied followed by another soon after. The first pass can be applied generously. Work quickly and try to maintain a wet edge. Once the dry first coat has a chance to absorb some of the moisture, come back over and remove any excess plaster. There should be no ridges or trowel marks after this first pass and the plaster should be drying relatively quickly on the wall. As soon as you're finished with the first coat, immediately begin applying the second coat. The first coat should be firm and just starting to show signs of lightening from drying. Apply a liberal amount of plaster on the second coat. This coat will dry slower and you'll have more time to work with the material on the wall. Move the plaster around on the wall to create your desired finish. It can be applied perfectly smooth or some voids can be left for a more textural effect. As you finish the second coat, make sure all of the plaster has been finished smooth and tight. There should be no excess plaster on the wall at this point. Once the second coat has been applied, clean all of the plaster off of your tools in preparation for smoothing and burnishing. Limestrong stone can be left smooth and matte or can be troweled to a semi-burnished finish. As the plaster dries to a leather hard but still wet state, begin to smooth and burnish with a stainless steel trowel. Holding the trowel at a 35 degree angle, work in random movements to create a smooth, even finish. At this stage, no plaster should be coming off the wall onto your trowel. Continue this process until you are happy with the level of finish. Remove the edge masking before the plaster has dried fully. Once dry, corners and edges can be detailed with fine sandpaper. Tools needed for soap. A clean five gallon bucket, a paint roller, a paint brush, a five gallon bucket grid, a tool for stirring, Limestrong soap concentrate. Our Limestrong soap finish is made from natural oils. The soap reacts with the lime to create a silky smooth protective layer on the surface of the plaster. Application of soap is an optional step but recommended for its protective and aesthetic qualities. Limestrong soap is packaged in a one quart concentrate. For regular plaster surfaces, it should be diluted one part soap to eight parts water. To mix a full quart, start with two gallons of water. Pour the full quart of soap concentrate into the water and mix well. Allow the plaster to dry fully before applying soap. Remask adjacent surfaces. The easiest and quickest way to apply the soap is with a roller. Diluted soap mixture is very thin and will drip easily. 
If a drip runs down the unsealed wall, it can cause a stain. To avoid drips on unsealed plaster, start at the bottom of the wall. Roll the soap on in a random crosshatch pattern to avoid roller marks and lap lines. One coat is sufficient, but two can be applied if desired for extra protection. After the soap has been applied, check over the whole wall for drips or runs. A drip left to dry on the wall can leave a stain that is difficult to remove. When the soap is dried completely, buff the wall with a soft cloth to remove streaks and to further polish the surface. For more information on Limestrong Stone and all of our other finishes, please visit our website, limestrongartisan.com.